If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome back to The Frugal Filmmaker. You know, after looking over some of my older videos to see how I could improve previous projects, I came across my DIY boom pole video. And after staring at it for a while, I wondered how I could improve it. Well, I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could come up with a portable microphone mount that was small enough to fit into your pocket that you could take anywhere that you could use on any painter's pole or broom handle? Yes, I think it would. And here's your basic parts list. You can find the specifics in the description below. Uh, first step is to take your paint roller, grip it by the handle, and twist off the roller portion. Now, if this isn't easy, which it wasn't for me, leave it in a hot car, put it, put it in the oven at about 100 degrees to soften up that plastic, and it will twist right out. The hot car seemed to work for me. Then take a quarter inch drill, on your cordless drill here, and drill out the hole that's remaining. That should be pretty easy. Then you're going to switch out your drill bit for a 5 16 inch drill bit and you're going to widen that hole out. Go ahead and drill it out. It should go straight because the hole's already there. It's a nice pilot hole. Drill it out uh, and you're done with that for a while. Next up you're going to take your microphone clip and go ahead and add that adapter, the 3 8 to 5 8 inch adapter because uh, the hole is 5 8 inch and you want a 3 8 inch hole. So you're going to add the adapter. The one in the description below, the link I'm giving you is metal. I have a plastic one here because that's what came with the microphone clip. Plastic isn't the best, but that's what I've got, so that's what I'm using. I recommend the metal one. Go ahead and use a large bladed screwdriver or a coin to tighten in the adapter. I'm using a dime here. It actually worked pretty well. So now that that's done, um, we're going to take our our threaded rod, our 3 8 inch rod, and go ahead and screw it right into the microphone adapter. You don't need 6 inches. Uh, that's just the shortest one I can get at the hardware store. 3 to 6 inches should work. Once that's done, go ahead and take your handle again and get your PVC cutters and chop off the head, that little Y section. You don't need it. Just cut it off at the narrowest point um, so that you've got a flat piece of plastic with a hole in it at the top of your handle. Then you're going to take your uh, microphone clip with the rod sticking out of it and go ahead and force it into the hole. The rod's a little bit bigger than the hole, so it will self-thread, and that's what you want. Go ahead and get it started about an inch or so um, into the hole. And once you feel like you've got it going in a little bit, you don't want to put too much torque on your uh, microphone clip, so go ahead and unscrew it. Especially in my case where it's a plastic adapter, I was worried the uh, threaded rod was going to be too much for the adapter, so I took the microphone clip off. And then I took the two nuts that are mentioned in the tool list, the two 3 8 inch nuts, and then I attached them to the end of the threaded rod, one at a time, at the very end, so that they were together. And then I took uh, both pairs of pliers, gripped both nuts, and went ahead and turned them uh, against each other to go ahead and tighten them up so that they would not move. After I did that, I now had a firm place to grip the threaded rod without damaging it, and I turned the handle uh, until the threaded rod collapsed into the handle, until the nuts actually touched the top of the handle. Once that was done, I went ahead and removed the uh, two nuts, separated them by turning them uh, opposite of the way that I tightened them, so they were both loose. And then I went ahead and took them both off, and put them in my parts bin because their job here was done. So now I've got a handle with a 3 8 inch rod sticking out of the top. I could now take my microphone clip and go ahead and put it back onto the thread and tighten it down until the plastic met plastic and the uh, microphone clip was now firmly connected to the painter's pole handle. Okay, so now that we've got this thing built, what do we do with it? Well, as mentioned earlier, because it's based on a paint roller handle, it will fit inside, will fit on top of any uh, painter's pole or extension pole with this kind of basic coarse thread here that you've probably seen before. Uh, you can use any different lengths of extensions. This will screw right down onto this, and if you're in a pinch, you can always unscrew a broom handle, any broom handle. Uh, will fit into this as well, so that can be pretty handy. Now, uh, of course, if you put your microphone in this, you're going to get a lot of pole noise or operator noise because 
all of that sound or hands moving along the pole or whatever is going to transmit right to the microphone. So we are going to put the uh, frugal shock mount here that we built a long time ago right into this device. And now we have this shock mount that will insulate our microphone and any kind of pull noise on any kind. But most, most noise will be insulated as long as we're careful because this is the microphone is now suspended. Now you might also notice that uh, uh, when this is not on the pole, when it is not on an extension pole, it now becomes a nice little pistol grip. So if you want to collect any audio, uh, handheld, ambient noise, sound effects, whatever, this little device is now a pistol grip. Something I didn't have before, but, but now I do. Oh, also, I want to point out that if you're not using a shotgun mic uh, clip like I'm using, this half inch PVC pipe from the shock mount will not fit in here. So you'll need to make an adapter. I showed how to do that in my uh, other video, the DIY uh, boom pole video. So just follow a little annotation that will pop up here and I'll show you how to make an inexpensive adapter that will work on a larger, more common mic clip. These are, these are less common. This came with my shotgun microphone, so that's why I have it. Something else you can do with this is you can unscrew the microphone clip. That will expose the 3 8 inch thread on your handle here. And you can also add a mini ball head. These mini ball heads are found on eBay for about five to six dollars, and they have a 3 8 inch thread on the bottom, um, which you can now screw your handle into, which will allow you to put a mini ball head on the top of a pole. And this is a quarter 20 mount, which will go into any camera. So you can essentially have an inexpensive crane, put your camera on the end of the pole. Of course, you won't be able to see the monitor you have to figure out some way of monitoring it like a crane. Uh, but you can also add a, any digital audio recorder. A lot of people are using digital audio recorders like the Zoom H1, the H4n, uh, Tascam models as microphones. Instead of using a microphone, they're using a, a recorder. And you can attach that on the end of this thread right here. Of course, you probably won't want to do that because you'll have the same problem you do with a microphone, which is operator noise transmitting right to the microphones. So I recommend you add something like this. This is DSLR Film Noob's shock mount made for digital recorders like the Zoom H1 and the Tascam DR05. You can now put the recorder right in here. Um, and uh, your, some, some of your uh, noise transmission problems will be solved. But that's a great solution. You can kind of see all the different things you can do with this. This also acts as a pistol grip, so if you want to record audio, handheld using an audio recorder, you can do that. So lots of things uh, to offer here. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave me a comment, send me an email. Anything that I talked about in this episode, I will link to in the description below. So uh, good luck and we'll see you next time on The Frugal Filmmaker. Bye bye. a small compact portable version of a microphone mount that would screw on top of any painter's pole or broom handle and go on top of any painter's pole or broom handle. Previous projects I've made I like to come up oh, jeez. <laughs>